Hey guys, what's up? You are Voltron, back out of another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the penultimate duo of the um, Lego minifigures D&D uh, set. If we take a look at the sheet here, um, we have already taken a look at numbers 1 through 4, number 5, number uh, 8, and then at numbers 9 through 12. Well... 9 and 12 I should say. We haven't seen 10 and 11 yet but that's the next video. But in today's video we're taking a look at number 6 and 7. The Birdman and the Ood. If you know that reference from Doctor Who. Good on you. Um, that's obviously not the actual names. I'm going to have to Google them quickly before I actually take a look at these guys. But yeah. As always if you like this video hit the like button, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah. I'm looking on the back just in case there's anything extra to show. It does not look to be. Um, I'm not taking a look at the box just because I don't actually have one on hand at the moment. But without further ado, let me stop this recording and check the names and then actually take a look at these two. Let's go. So here we have the two minifigures. As you can see up close, we have the, I believe it's the Ara Cochra Ranger and the Mind Flare. Uh, forgive any uh, bad pronunciation, just you know what I can be like in so at some points in time. But that is how I pronounce them, or at least how I have perceived them. So if we set the Mind Flare off to the side and take a look at the Arakokra Ranger, you see he is a Birdman. Birdman! Um, you see the head is like an eagle style with the yellow beak. Got the, the menacing eyes, like, girl, I'm going to shoot you with my bow. He's got this nice wing, like, wing mold piece here, which does look really, really nice. I do love it. Um, you see his outfit here. If I can maybe shine the light a little bit better on it. Not really. Um, you see how it looks. It's like a, a archer's jacket with the green, like, capy piece, and then... A little gold but they're done in like a metallic along with the belt and the uh bit going around his like the belt bit going around um it's pretty cool looking um no arm printing or side leg printing but why would there be on this sort of legs because it's got the gray hands then for the legs got the little talons on the bottom and got the that's sort of like tunic design continuing down. Um, as always, I'm not the biggest fan of these legs. They are still better, in my opinion, than the mini, mini legs. Like the micro or mini legs, just the unmoving ones. But I don't know. These, I think this usage of these legs is much better than the last ones. Or the last one from last series being the weird like alien thing. I was just not a fan of that minifigure. But anyway, comes with a bow, which... Has obviously the arrow molded in it as well, which actually looks really nice. The shade of that's really nice. Um, which I do believe that potentially is the same mold that one of the Hawkeye bows are. I say one of the Hawkeyes, meaning Kate or Clint. I'm not actually quite sure. From the new New Year CMF series for the Marvel stuff. For the back, uh, for the back design, you can see got the rest of that sort of like hood cape piece. Got the rest of the sling, or like the bit going around, which I feel like to add on, just if you were mystically able to, with like the way the wings and all work, I kind of feel like if you could have like Indiana Jones' little satchel bag to go over that, that would actually look really nice, just with having a little, little pouch there in the kunai, like the wee dagger. But I d unfortunately, I don't quite think you'd be able to. Um, and I say that I don't think I even have an Indiana Jones on hand to try. Um, I don't believe so, unfortunately. Not within arm's reach for the sake of the video. So I might I might try and update in sort of the next video. But his other accessory is this little like dog, which it's a dog. It's just done in grey with the little black snout. Or like nose and like the little bit of grey there as well. Obviously the eyes are printed as well. It is two studs wide, so for the sake of the base stand, I just have it sitting like that. Then it's actually on both plate tiles, 
just for the sake of it not falling off. And obviously the bow can sit in the carter's hand, like so. So yeah, as much as I was kind of regretting or dreading in some weird form or fashion of getting this minifigure, it's pretty good. Still not my favourite, still not my least favourite I don't think. It might actually be my least favourite, but in the sense of the least good one than the worst. In that sort of sense. So that is what it is regardless. Set him off to the side though. And bring in the mind flare. Which is saying that I'll need to actually grab one of the other characters. And just looking at who there is. I think I'm going to grab Sasha for this along with the elf bard. Um, just as a thing for later. Um... Because obviously we have the Mind Flare and his little like brain companion thing. But if we set that off to the side, you can see the Mind Flare. He looks like the Ood from Doctor Who. If you know what I'm on about it, once again, good for you. But just with like the tentacle bits for his mouth, it looks very interesting. Got the yellow eyes there, got the sort of pink hands, or the purple hands, depending on what shade of colour you wish for that to be. Um, got these nice like shoulder pad pieces which are kind of armoured and have like a little bit of pinky purple on them. Same with like the back design here which is very nice. If we pop the head off here you can also see the front of the design. Got that nice like pink wave in the middle there with like the you know darker blue sort of you can't see it very well but darker blue like cloth just design pieces which overall you can kind of see the design there. Which doesn't look half bad. And he's got one of these skirt pieces. Which usually I like dress sort of pieces. And usually I don't like these. Because just again. Like the mini legs. You can't move them. It's just wah bam. Like you can obviously move their arms and whatnot. But like I usually like the fact of being able to move the legs in a minifigure. But this is one of the cases I don't mind it. Kind of a bit like the the like little tree guy from from before like it fits the purpose so it's understandable but we're going to set him off to the side here to an extent to take a look at the little mind flare sort of brain thing which it's got the little things that you can like just place on the studs the same way you saw him standing here you know, that's just him connected on two studs but there's also a mini figurehead port in there which, if we, say, take the bard, for example, pop his hairpiece off. Here we have the bard without his hairpiece. And then we can go and place this on top in the sense of... Well, maybe if we turn it the other way, you can, put, you can be like, ah, you know. Like, uh, it's on his head. It's kind of like a xenomorph, like one of those fa uh, head crawler. I can't remember what they're called from, like, Half-Life or one of those old games but you see how it looks on the bard and we'll bring in Sasha which we'll kind of put this face on her just for the sake of doing so and you can have it happening like that though on <laughs> her it looks a wee bit weird for the fact obviously her hair should be oops her book is kind of outweighing her hair but she should have like her hair sticking at the bottom of it but it's understandable Either way though, it is very nice. I like the thought of it. You can see on her other face here. She's kind of like neutral about it. But yeah, we'll set that there. And give Sasha back her hairpiece. And set her off to the side. So yeah, let's bring in the archer again. But that is going to be it for this video. If you like it, hit the like button, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live. And when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah. I really do hope you have enjoyed. I have enjoyed collecting these and reviewing them. Hopefully I will have the last two. The uh, Statue of Liberty looking one and the Skull Man. Um, sort of soon for uh, this week upload. This will, cause this video is hopefully going out on Monday. That the other one will go out on the Friday. If not Tuesday and Thursday. We'll see. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys soon with something else. Goodbye.